Mr. Mayor, Council Members, what you have before you is your document for a consideration of a resolution of support and letter for a low income, income housing tax credit project for the rehabilitation of the Ashland House. What I'd like to attach in your agenda packet, first of all, is the um, tax credit policy as adopted by the City of Valdosta for any time these projects seek this resolution of support from the City. Um, I'm very pleased to present this to you this evening. At the time we sent, uh, received the initial notification, I did contact Councilwoman Eva White, as it is in her district, to let her know that this project would be moving forward. The applicant, IDP Housing, uh, with President Mr. Brett Holmes, and Mr. Holmes is here this evening, um, is proposing to acquire and rehabilitate the 61 unit development, seven story building in downtown Valhasta using the low income housing tax credits as well as the historic preservation tax credits, um, which I'm extremely excited about since this property is a contributing property in the National Register District. What you see before you contained in the packet not only is your policy, but is the letter that will be sent if you all approve it, the resolution of support if you approve it, and then the affidavit from the newspaper showing where the required public hearing was advertised, the public hearing notice that went out, also the list of property owners that the city uh, identified that should be notified that were adjacent to the project site, the signing sheet from the public hearing that was held in the sanctuary of First Methodist Church on Friday, March 16th, and then a transcription of the minutes from that hearing. Staff is requesting approval of the resolution of support and letter that is contained in the packet again for this low income housing tax credit application for the acquisition and rehabilitation of the Ashley House. Also, to let you know, I also had a hand from Mr. Holmes um, since it, it will be an acquisition. I do have the legally executed purchase and sale agreement between the current owner and Mr. Holmes, which was another requirement that I had in this project to come forward. I welcome any questions that you have at this time. Sure, I know they have quite a few residents down there. They relocated somewhere to get a little bit of attention. Councilman Wright, what, from what I understand from the, the public hearing, um, one of the things that they're going to try to do, and I don't know if any of you were caught for a call, um, and Councilman Vickers, you may, um, this project actually went through a rebuild, significant rehabilitation in the fall of 1996. One of the first ways Councilman Wright they're going to look at doing is doing exactly what they did then and do it floor by floor. And then where they have vacancies, they'll move those residents into the vacancies. But of course, because of the involvement of the um, U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, they have to, of course, work through the relocation requirements. If that comes up as far as off-site, it's my understanding from attending the public hearing, they want to keep that to a minimum. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about is a lot of the residents were at the public hearing that day, which I felt was very important for them to hear firsthand. 